Hey, yo, your boy Bug Crawford out here bussing moves. The type moves that could leave him unified at 54 in his debut. Oh, let's talk about it. I don't care what y'all say, man. That intro a bop. What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bad Boxing TV, man. If you don't get your big goofy ass in here and hit the bag, hit that like button for your boy. That helps the channel. You know, I appreciate that love. Shout out to gang, man. My bag hitters. Y'all know the count. Big shout out to not just subscribers, but members. My guy out to BX, the boogie down. My man, John. Of course, Sean and Don. Hold the goddamn phone. And Martin Ash TV, man, I truly appreciate y'all. Now, if you want to become a member, support your boy. If you appreciate the content and the consistency, hit that join button down here somewhere, man. Rock out with your boy. All right, if you're catching me for the very first time, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you can get all the content. All right, man, look, Bud Crawford, what can I say? It's time to put on that promoter hat, Bud. You want a co-promotion a deal? You got to get out here and find you some work. I think we all can agree. I think it's the consensus. If you're paying attention to the sport of boxing, you understand that the PBC is reluctant to really work hand in hand with Bud Crawford. They wanted to sign him to a multi-fight deal with PBC. Bud said, yeah, you know, I want to move around a little freely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so they're going to be reluctant to make any uh, one of these fights for one of these titles with Bud Crawford. I think it's apparent. I think it's obvious that that's going to be the situation. Why you ask? Well, because, of course, Bud has activated that super champ status with the WBO. He's supposed to be next in line uh, with Fundora. Uh, unfortunately, because of the injuries, Tim Zhu put on Fundora's ass. He's going to be out of, out of boxing or suspended for the next six months. Probably won't be ready to fight till maybe November. December, end of the year, maybe even first quarter of next year. You don't know how this thing's going to play out. Um, and that's the fight that Bud wanted. If not that, maybe the Tim Zoo fight, who will be healed up a lot quicker than that. Um, uh, as to he had the 10, he had to get the 10 stitches in his head, but he's got a six to 10 week turnaround, right? They more than likely not going to make either one of these fights with Bud Crawford. Uh, let's keep it funky you know at this point it just appears that they're going to freeze him out doesn't really look like any negotiations going on Luka which has already gave you his perspective um the manager and and, and uh promoter of Sebastian Fondor um that fight more than likely doesn't happen it appears the WBO is the only sanctioning body who's truly been standing on business when it comes to moving around and more than likely, he's not going to have that belt, which leaves an interesting situation. It's interesting as hell because they're going to make that WBA belt vacant. And of course, with Bud's super, stat super champ status activated, he'll get to fight for that vacant belt. And it appears that Majimoff and, con and, and company Israel Majimov, and it's going to be a lot of criticism about Majimov. Now, mind you, his last fight was in Saudi Arabia. He last fought for the vacant WBA. He is the full WBA champion, but he's only got 11 fights. 11 fights, seven knockouts, one draw. But I'm telling you, I, I had some downtime today to, to go back and look at that, that scrap for the WBA. He looks like a tough bastard, man, at the end of the day. He looks tough um, at the end of the day. Everybody's professionals in these fights. You want to call people cab drivers and bums because you don't know nothing about them. But he looks tough. He looks like he packs a punch. His physique, I think, tells you a lot. Um, it looks like he's in a tremendous shape. Um, and, you know, he's not going to be a notable opponent on Bud Crawford's resume. But um, a good scrap, nonetheless, I believe, for the vacant WBA. But here's the, here's the cold part. The rumors and everything and the reports we've heard about Bud Crawford being real chummy with our uh, uh, Turkey Al Sheik is true. He's a fact now. They're working closely with Bud. They support Bud. They want to see Bud fight, and they are the backing for this fight, right? Now, 
The only info I can give you about Madrimov's whole situation is he's with the same manager as Dimitri Bivol, who of course has those relationships with DAZN. So this could very well be uh, Saudi backed and DAZN uh, uh, as far as televised or, or dealing with the network could be a DAZN deal. Um, but the Sheep, more than willing to get this fight done with Bud Crawford, it appears, Bud Crawford and Israel Madrimov. And not only that, it would be for a unification fight. The WBA, which Israel Madrimov holds, and the vacant WBO, because let's be real, Fundora's not going to fight Bud Crawford next. More than likely, Earl Spence, or even potentially if they do the Earl Spence, Tim Zhu, before Fundora's healed up, because that's that's the that's the thing about how long this injury is going to take place. You still got it's only April, you know what I'm saying? So you still want to make fights. I know Tim Zhu's going to want to fight. Earl Spence has been out of the ring since July. He's going to want to fight, of course. Bud's been out of the ring since July. He wants to fight, but Bud Crawford going out there shaking and moving the best way he knows how, and say what you want. This is a, the perfect situation for Bud Crawford. If he can get past Madrimov, and this actually comes to fruition, he could become the unified uh, 54 champion in his debut. And again, he's sitting right there, sitting pretty. You know, if you, you want to move forward, you want to make a big fight, you got to come see Bud Crawford. Uh, you know, if you the road to Undisputed would have to go through Bud Crawford, and I think at that point he'll be more than willing to relinquish the belts at 47. Let's keep it funky, man. He's probably not going back there. Shout out Jerron Ennis, man. Bring your ass to 54, man. Jump into action. There's a lot going on up there. Um, but Bud Crawford sitting right there, um, looking pretty at, at, at 54 with two scraps. If it goes down this way, and it appears that it's going down this way, reports is this is exactly what's happening now i know some of y'all like man who the hell is saying that i'm talking about and i want to make sure we according to barbosa's boxes uh barbosa's box um these are the these are the reports now um as far as i know it's a lot of people uh close to the camp um in talks uh, uh with what's going on over there in saudi arabia and again majimov last fight for the w uh, vacant wba was in saudi as well now i'm just giving you what's being reported i'm not telling you that i talk to these niggas this is which is what's out there in the atmosphere this is what looks like it could be happening in the next and i'm excited for it and if it does that's crazy man for bud crawford to end up in that position unified at 54 waiting on the pbc more than likely to come make another make another money fight with bud crawford and i don't care what nobody say man bud hot as fish grease man um he's tapped into a whole different uh fan base after beating uh, uh spence uh, i think that was his his you know his coming out party uh and then he did like two three victory laps you know what i'm saying he was heavy on the laps prior to the fight promoting this fight and he did a few victory laps i think you know, it's safe to say, and I've even noticed the uptick in people who actually know who the hell Bud Crawford is. You can't say that he can't sell if you haven't did an event with him since the Spence fight. Now, since the Spence fight, let's see what he does now. You understand what I'm saying? But uh, Bud Crawford, a lot of things to be smiling about. A lot of good news for Bud Crawford. This changes a lot. That's all I got for y'all on this one, man. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. I'm out of here. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.